it's unlikely now that anybody would have had an implant placed fairly recently, as for some time now routine dental care has been suspended. However, you may be at various stages of implant treatment, or you may have a problem with implants that were placed some time ago. What I'd like to do is try and explain some of the issues that you may see and what you could do about them. If you've had an implant placed but the crown has not yet been put on it, you may have a healing cap on the implant. This is a small lid which is screwed into the top of the implant before the crown or bridge or denture is attached. And it looks a bit like this. And if one of these comes off, it really isn't a problem. Just keep the rest of the implant clean and the gum will probably heal over the top. If your healing cap has come off, there is no need to worry. Even if small particles of food accumulated in the implant, they are unlikely to cause any problems because the implant is an inert metal. As long as you keep the area around it clean with tooth brushing and perhaps use some warm salt water mouthwashes to flush away any loose particles, it is unlikely the implant would come to any harm. If you can see the healing cap still in place on the top of the implant, then this may be normal or it may be where the gum is settling into a more normal position around it. In this event, provided it is at least three weeks since you've had the implant placed, then you can gently brush the top of the healing cap to stop plaque accumulating. It may be a little bit sore to do this at first as the gums around the implant may be slightly inflamed, but with gentle cleaning and possibly the use of an antiseptic mouthwash, this should settle and if you keep it clean, then such sensitivity of the gum will go away. Remember, bleeding gums do not necessarily mean you're cleaning too hard. It's nature's way of telling you that you possibly need to clean a little bit more thoroughly. If you have an implant that's placed some time ago and the crown is fixed to the implant by means of a small screw, sometimes the screw will come loose and the crown can feel wobbly. In this instance, it is not necessarily the implant that is coming off. There is a risk that the crown itself may come off and if this happens, then you should keep it carefully and don't worry if the gum grows over the top of the implant. Sometimes crowns are fixed onto the abutment of the implant. The abutment is another metal fixing which has been placed into the implant that brings it through the gum so that a crown can be cemented to the top of the implant. Occasionally that cement will fail and the crown will come off. This will leave you with the metal spike of the abutment showing through the gum. If this is causing trauma to your tongue or your cheek, then you should mention this to your dentist and they may be able to arrange for you to be seen at an urgent dental care centre. However, there may be some difficulty in the centre removing the abutment as they may not have the necessary instruments. They may have to perhaps instead try and re-cement the crown for you or provide alternative treatment. This is what an implant looks like. It is unlikely that an implant would come out like this, but if it does, the socket that it leaves will be much smaller than that left by the loss of a normal tooth. There may be a little bleeding which you could control by biting on a clean hanky or some gauze for maybe 10 minutes and then it should stop. The socket will then heal quite normally and actually very quickly. If the crown was screw retained and it comes off, you may see the implant sitting in the gum like this. If the healing cap has come off, you may see the implant sitting in the gum like this. This is not a problem. As long as you keep things clean, the gum will probably close over the top of the implant. And when we return to normal treatment, we can put everything back to normal. Just keep it clean. If you have a denture that is retained on implants and the denture is normally removed but now won't go back in properly, then it's possible that one of the small fittings in the denture is not working properly. And in this instance, you probably ought to contact your dentist, preferably the dentist who has been looking after the denture and the implants for you and seek their advice.